What's up, friends? This is Jazz bringing you a, another What I Got the month, you know, this month. This is for the month of July, but it's also an unboxing as well, like in the last one. There's one item that has yet to arrive, but I'll probably unbox it when it does. But for now, I'm going to unbox three books. Yes. The first book, I'm just taking them in order, I got is a series of unfortunate events, The Grim Grotto, which is book 11. Or book the 11th, as it's called. So I'm looking forward to it. I can finally finish the series. The second one I got is The Penultimate Peril, which is a series of unfortunate event book, events, book 12. It's like next to last book. Is what it says. And finally, this one is a tad different because it's a different import, I think. I think a British import, but it's the end. Which is book 13. So I'm finally able to finish the series. I'm already, I'm up on, to book seven at this point. I'm taking my time and reading like different books in a way. So I'm getting to it. But anyway, another thing I got is The Sims 4 Werewolves, which Again, it's digital, so I can't really show much except for maybe pictures that I can find to post on it. But that was a game pack, thank God. I mean, there's some things that, like, I think they had just the right price for that pack. Like, if they had made an expansion of it, because I think they did a game pack for vampires, right? So, it wouldn't be fair if they did werewolves as an expansion, so. And finally, that's, that's all I can say is, finally, after what, how many years since five, maybe? Five or more since vampires were released? Usually, like, the, in Sims 3, it was supernatural, like, all of them were included. But yet, they're separating the supernatural, you know, creatures, like, for example, there was, oh, magic something, Realm of Magic for wizards and witches, there was Island Living for mermaids, aliens were included at, during the base game, but besides that, mostly every, you know, supernatural occult had their own pack, which I guess is good and bad, I mean, it was nice when you got them all in Supernatural, but when you think about it, with each pack, they can kind of expand on them a little more, have a little more attention given to, to each of them. So, I mean, that is one positive about it, but still, it is kind of ridiculous that they did that, that they, they had to spend 30-odd bucks or more for each occult. But, I mean... You know we're going to buy it if we're a big fan of The Sims the way we are, right? So they, they know what they're doing. The final thing that I got was Goosebumps Deep Trouble, which is book number 19 in the series. As I said, I'm slowly putting my Goosebump book, my original Goosebump book collection together. And now I'll have, I'll, I'll have 1 to 19 and then it'll skip several of them. Like, I'm more than just 1 to 19, like, when it comes in. It's just, in, a, in an order, I'll have 1 to 19, without missing any. So, I'm excited for that. Like, I, I'm slowly building my collection when I can. And sort of for the 
not the volume contact. This time the camera sometimes is hard to focus on. You don't know where it is. Just that's just a little bit of a detail there. I'm trying to focus on you guys, but maybe maybe you don't like me staring at you all the time. So sometimes I don't like that either. So, but I, I'm just really excited to get to finish off this series and just to show you another. I just when I I just realized that's Count Olaf's foot. How did I not see that? I mean, I should have known, you know, that it was because it happens in the show too and how he's washed up shore on there. So, and plus it shows the, you know, the tattoo, I believe, on his ankle. So, I mean, actually, to be fair, most VFD members have an eye tattoo somewhere. Usually is the ankle, so it isn't just a Count Olaf trait after a certain point, but that's what he was known for, you know, with the, with the kids, right? It was the eye tag two and the eyebrow, the one eyebrow. But I said, I'm, I'm looking forward to finishing this series, and I admit, this went from a relatively small series to, like, this has over 300 pages, which again is not a Harry Potter by any means in length in the later books, but it, it's getting me used to reading harder books in a way, but not like too difficult. This might have a lot of pages, but they're not as near as difficult as Harry Potter. Now, again, before I do end this video, you guys are thinking, Harry Potter isn't hard, you know, some of you might be saying it, but keep in mind with what you know about me with my learning disability. Certain things that would be considered easy aren't as easy for me. Like. I have problems with processing information. Like if I were, if someone were to tell me a long story, right, like one time, I may not remember every single detail. I might have to say, could you, could you repeat that again? The same thing with reading. Sometimes I have to reread something two or three times just to fully get everything I read in there. And even after that, sometimes I need to stop for a minute and process it. So something as big as Harry Potter and with a lot of the British dialogue they use, like the slang, like I'm not saying that as an in insaw, slang, that's just what they call it, like certain slang, right, the way they talk, like I don't always get, nothing to do with them, nothing wrong with them, that is just me, and I'm getting used to understand different language, I mean I know it's English, but I meant words used for different meanings and Sometimes I have trouble processing that and understanding that, so a book, like a children's book like Harry Potter could be difficult for me in that way because there's a lot I need to take in when reading it. And the series of unfortunate events so far hasn't been as bad. I'm not saying there aren't moments, right? It is getting harder too, but I'm on book seven already and I'm still understanding it all right. You, I was on book four of Harry Potter and I started like to uh, lose my understanding of it. Like I'm fine up to book three in Harry Potter, like it, like easy even. But then book four to book seven, I need to take my time reading it to understand what I'm what I'm doing. But so far again, on on books up to book six, I've read of the series of unfortunate events. I didn't need to stop very often. I, could, I might need to stop for like five seconds say, okay, this word means that, okay, and then I go on. Right. So, that's why I've been loving this series. It, it also keeps me invested in the characters, even though, yes, there's a lot of depressing moments in it. It's as I've been loving it. Which, again, for me, who's almost happy-go-lucky, in a way, is a change, right? Like... So, like, this story is known, this series is known for telling you to put the book down because it's so depressing. But yet, I don't. Like, it's... The only thing I am thinking is, why is this released to children? Now, it's easy enough to understand, but it's so dark. As much as I'm fine with it, Imagine the age, well, I don't know what the age demographic for this is. I would hope at least 10, at least, if not 12, like, and older, because 
talking about murder and all those things. I, but then again, I suppose it's good they're not treating kids like dummies or talking down to them in a way, so. But anyway, guys, that's everything that I got for the month of July. So, I'm having plans for the rest of what I'm going to get. You know, I'm starting to prioritize more things now, so... Hopefully you'll enjoy next month, or next August's, whenever that does come out. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and like what you see, please subscribe. It help this channel a lot. And don't forget to hit the bell notification so you'll know when new videos are coming out. And I'll see you guys in my next video.